hi everyone welcome to my channel now in this video we are going to discuss the condition for emergence or no emergence in case of a prism and we will be applying two conditions one is when there is a normal incidence to the prism and the second one is grazing incidence so let's start now as we have seen in the previous video that for a prism uh, this is the angle of prism and uh, this is the incident ray this is the normal so this is the angle of incidence ray is traveling from rare medium to denser medium it is refracted towards the normal so this is the normal first normal this is the angle of refraction at the first refracting surface this is the normal at the second refracting surface n2 is the second normal so this is the refracted ray this is the point of incidence at the second refracting surface this is the point of incidence so this is r2 and this is the emergent ray this is the emergent ray so it is the angle between uh, so angle between the normal and the emergent ray is the angle of emergence so this is the angle of emergence and we have also also seen that this r1 plus r2 is equal to a r1 plus r2 is equal to a okay so we will be applying this concept for finding the condition for emergence and or non-emergence like first is normal incidence normal incidence condition for emergence or non-emergence when the ray is incident normally now if this ray is incident normally to the refracting surface suppose this ray is incident from this side it is incident normally okay so this is the incident ray so if it is incident normally there will not be any refraction condition for no refraction one condition for no refraction was normal incidence so this ray will travel undeviated and now this is the second refracting surface this is the normal at the second refracting surface now if for normal incidence angle of incidence it will be equal to 0 0 degree angle of refraction at the first refracting surface this angle will also be 0 degree okay now if this is the angle of prism this is angle of refraction at the second refracting surface this is the second normal okay so as you can see r1 plus r2 is equal to a now in this case r1 is already 0 so that implies r1 plus r2 is a r1 is 0 so that implies r2 is equal to a r2 is equal to a what is this a is the angle of the prism okay now if this ray fails to emerge from this second refracting surface this ray fails to emerge from the second refracting surface then it implies that this angle r2 it must be equal to the critical angle okay so if the angle of incidence at the second refracting surface it is greater than the critical angle so that is r2 it is greater than c then the ray will undergo total internal reflection and the ray will emerge from the second refracting surface if r2 is less than c okay but what is r2 r2 is a so this implies the ray will undergo total internal reflection if a is greater than c and it will emerge in the second refracting surface if a is less than c so this is the condition for no emergence and this is the condition for emergence so next let us observe the grazing incidence now grazing incidence it means the rays ray this incident ray grazes this first refracting surface so if this is the normal so this angle is almost 90 degree okay and now this ray is refracted at the second now this is incident at the second refracting surface this is r2 and this is r1 and this is angle of prism this is angle of prism okay now if this i 
is equal to 90 degree that means r1 is equal to c okay now r1 plus r2 is equal to a sum of these two angles is equal to a r1 is equal to c so that gives r2 is equal to a minus r1 but r1 is equal to c so i can write it as r2 is equal to a minus c now this ray will fail to emerge from the second refracting surface if r2 is greater than c okay if r2 is greater than c this ray will fail to emerge from the second refracting surface and it will undergo total internal refraction okay so that means if r2 is greater than c that implies a minus c because r2 is equal to a minus c so a minus c is greater than c or a is greater than twice c okay so that means the ray will fail to emerge from the second refracting surface if angle of prism is greater than two times the critical angle under the condition of grazing incidence this is grazing incidence grazing incidence so these are the two basic concepts related to condition for emergence or non-emergence when the ray is incident normally and when the ray is incident undergoing grazing incidence i hope this concept is clear to you and this video was beneficial to you so good luck